Hey everybody, Mel and FPS here. Welcome to the long-awaited 300 sub special the movement guide. Uh, I am so sorry this took so long. I'll be honest with you. I didn't think we were going to hit like 400 subs this quick and I thought I would have like I thought I was going to finish this video and then I'd be at like 320 subs. We're at like 400 something now. So I don't know when that happened, but thank you for all the support. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry it took me so long. It's been, it's hard working full time and doing content creation and it's, it's been a lot. Um, but anyways, I'm really excited to finally get into this video with you guys and show you all the movement mechanics and aim blocks and all this crazy stuff you can do. Um, so let's just hop right into it and let's uh, get started. Alrighty, so let's start with the basics. They, these two uh, movements are going to be the baseline of every other movement mechanic in the game. And they're also going to be a very, very important mechanic you have to master in order to do very well in this game, especially against high level players. You will have a bad time if you do not know how to do these things. So the first thing you're going to want to master is you're going to want to master sliding. Sliding is very simple. It's very, very, very easy to perform. However, there are some interesting things you can do things you can do with it. So to perform a slide, you're going to want to go ahead and start running by holding down shift. And then you're going to want to let go of shift and hit control. And then you can hold down control as long as you want and you will slide. However, just keep note, if you run out of momentum, you will just stop on the floor. So be sure to end the slide before you actually run out of momentum. You can do that by letting go of shift or jumping. I prefer to jump uh, just because I find that just it mixes up the movement a little bit. But this is going to be the biggest thing. Now, they actually just recently buffed sliding in a previous patch. It didn't used to be this strong in terms of like the dashing power. Um, Previously, everyone pretty much only used air dash. However, ground sliding is now just significantly more reliable, especially for cases where if you're in a fight, let's say, and there's someone here, you can sprint like this, shoot them as you're going across, and then just get to cover. Obviously, you need enough momentum to do so, but that's a really, really important thing to master. So again, all you do is you run around and you just hold down shift and then let go of shift and immediately hit control and hold down control as long as you want to slide. And again, make sure you have enough momentum or you will just end sitting on the floor crouching and you'll be a sitting duck. So make sure you have enough momentum. All right, the next thing we're going to cover is air dash or an air slide as it's kind of called in the game if i'm not mistaken so it's pretty simple it's basically the exact same thing as doing a ground slide however instead of hitting just hitting control and sliding on the ground you're going to hit jump and then hit control so again it's very simple all you do is just jump and then hold hit control you can hold it to again do a longer dash but again as i said with uh ground sliding if you run out of momentum you will just be stuck crouching on the floor not recommended so i recommend it just for short little bursts of speed now this is very useful for a number of things there are some more advanced things i'll cover in a little bit but mainly the good thing about them is it's really good for just getting out of getting out of the fire rate a fire range and then just kind of getting around quicker so let's say if you're being shot from here if you're running like this it's very easy to predict your movement however if you run and you just all of a sudden just speed up like you have this little burst of speed it's a lot harder to read where you're going to be going and especially if you combine it with sliding it can be a very powerful tool um, but again, just be careful with running out of momentum with the slide, because if you're stuck in the middle of the ground, just stuck in a crouch animation, you will get beamed immediately. Um, but again, very simple. All you do is you run, you hit shift, and then just jump and hit control, either tap or hold it. I recommend again holding it. That's all it is. It's very simple. Both of these make up kind of the core mechanics of movement in A blocks. You do not want to be running around because you will just get fried because any predictable movement will get punched. So you want to mix up your movements as much as possible. So again, you can do ground slide into a dash and then you can just do a dash into a ground slide and you can do this. Like you can mix things up a lot. Again, I prefer ground sliding just because it's a little, it, you get more momentum and more range out of your boost, but it's up to personal preference and how you want to play. All right, here's the fun one. So here's what I have deemed or termed melee hopping. So melee was just recently added into aim blocks. I think it was about a month and a half, maybe two months ago now. And it completely changed the way movement went in this game. I remember I was so excited when I figured out that you could do movement mechanics with this. And now I've kind of pioneered a whole new way of moving in this game. So there's a lot of stuff to cover here. So bear with me, but it is definitely worth your time. So milling is super simple you just hit f and you just do a standard melee now the trick is is all you do is you look at the floor and it shoots you up into the sky this is incredibly useful so as i said earlier with mixing up of your movements you can do a ground slide into an air dash and just kind of shoot yourself up in the sky now and you can chain it together like this so you hit the ground slide melee and then hold shift hit the ground slide and melee together you can do so much stuff with this it's a crazy tool so if you're fighting someone here let's say there's a wall here and th this guy's an enemy player and you're trying to peek around he's reading your peeks you can just flick down and just shoot him over the wall or you can do something like this you can run around the corner jump up 
and just shoot him like that. There's so many options you can do with melee. It's crazy how useful it is. So that's his baseline. So again, all you do is you just look at the floor and just uh, look at the floor melee and you will just jump yourself into the sky. Now getting used to the movement of flicking down and kind of moving around like this will take a little bit of time, but it is one of the things I highly recommend learning because it is just so useful. Like being able to do this and just, oh, I dance by accident. <laughs> Being able just to do this and slide around and just be super hard to hit is just so useful in fights, especially especially against high level players. That's and, all right. So let's let's cover wall climbing. So there's two ways to wall climb, and there's a couple little things about it. So the thing you have to really keep an eye on is that anything with a perch like anything that sticks out of the wall like this you're going to have to you either won't be able to climb it or you have to do some weird kind of thing to do it what you want to look for is you'll want to look for flat surfaces so again like nightlife uh, mirage any any map that's a flat surface you can climb it all you do is walk up to the flat surface melee the floor and then angle down like this and hold w this will force your character to move back into the air strafe back into the wall and you just consistently melee over and over and over again and you will climb whatever object it is. Now you'll notice here how I was able to get over this little lip. You can get over the lip if you melee in the right spot. So if you melee here, you would end your movement here and you get stuck. But if you melee here, you can kind of hop yourself over because you don't go straight up, you kind of hop like this. So that's something to keep in mind. But again, aim for going after flat surfaces. That's the best way to do it. Um, and so now in a lot of maps, there are a bunch of places where you can really utilize this. One of my favorite things to do especially is, let me find a doorway. When there's a doorway here, if you're, let's say I'm being chased by someone and I come out here and there's someone behind me, you can melee up and then melee yourself up on this wall, wait for them to show, come behind them and just drop it down behind them. Because they're going to go running out of here looking for you. They're not going to look up. They're going to think you went around this corridor or this corridor, whereas you're just hanging up on the top of this building, you can just fall down and get them. Now, so that's just the standard melee climb. Now, there is one niche thing with melee. There are two modes of melee in this game. There is standard melee, and there is melee mode. Um, so how you get into melee mode is you hold down F on your keyboard, and you will unequip your guns, you will just pull out your fists. The interesting thing about this is that you actually melee faster in this mode as you do with your regular gun. So if you see here, I'm spamming melee. That's how quick I'm meleeing with this. But if you hold down melee mode, it's significantly faster. And the cool thing is that if you have melee mode, you can climb way faster. So you can see the time difference between that one. So if you're trying to climb something really high, like um, let's go over here and I'll show you how kind of how it works on this. If you're trying to climb something really high, I recommend just holding down holding down mouse and um, holding down F. I apologize and just going into melee mode because it's going to make your climb a lot faster. You just have to watch out for weird pieces of geometry that may mess up your climb. But as long as your crosshair is aimed, why do I keep going through this? I think it, I didn't even get in here. I think I just trapped myself. Yeah, I just trapped it. Uh, all right. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Weird moving glitch aside. Um, so as I said, melee mode just makes your climbing just a lot faster. It is a little buggy. Sometimes you'll get this weird thing where your gun shows up on your screen, but it seems to be kind of isolated. But as you can see here with melee mode, you can climb insanely fast. Like I'm already at the top of the map. What did that take? Like maybe... 10 seconds so again on maps like high wind um atmos any map that has a building you can utilize this like crazy on it so it is a it is really useful tool again i wouldn't recommend pulling out melee mode in the middle of a fight because you can just rely if you're just going to try and get above a doorway you can just hit a normal melee and just kind of hover over the door um but that's pretty much all you need to know about that um but yeah so that is uh, the melee mode climb uh now let's get into some more advanced stuff next we're going to talk about two pretty simple things so first of all we're going to cover rock Rocket jumping. rocket jumping is super straightforward. All you do is you take an explosive gun, China Lake, RPG, uh, Supernova, any explosive gun in the game. What you do is you aim at your feet, you jump, and you click fire. That's all it is. It's really easy. Um, if any of you have played Quake, TF2, that kind of stuff, you'll know how to do this. Um, this is a very useful tool because you can get a huge height advantage on people very quickly. However, you are a sitting duck in the air. I'm sure you've seen the clips of me just beaming people out of the sky. If you have to be smart with this. You can't just use it just all the time because you will get shot out of the air. <laughs> I mean, it depends on your lobby. I'll say this. If you're going up against any Paragon, 
you will get shot out of the sky, guaranteed. Everyone, anything below that, you you may get away with it. Um, but especially with the China Lake, it's really useful because you can just sit up here and just kind of aerial bombard people from the sky. Um, and as I said before, kind of similar with how the melee hop work, you can actually time it but if you hold shift, you can actually slide on the floor when you get it. Um, I know a lot of people when they melee jump, they just kind of go up, they strafe around, and they just land right on the floor, which is a really predictable way of getting killed. So if you jump yourself up in the sky and hold shift, and then hold shift and hit crouch the moment you hit the floor, you can slide, which is kind of a good mix-up to do. But again, I don't really recommend uh, like jumping up in the sky because again, you're probably just gonna get yourself killed. The next thing we're gonna cover is the Ion Pistol. Now, I already talked about this in my review of the Ion Pistol a little while ago. However, I figured I'd re-talk about it again because again, this is a movement guide. So if there's a gun that gives you movement stuff, we're gonna talk about it. So there's two interesting things with the, with the Ion Pistol. One of them is you can do an Ion Jump and then the other one is an ion climb. So basically what you do is if you shoot yourself, if you do a jump and you shoot, you'll see how you go a little higher sometimes. It's difficult to get the timing, but you can actually kind of chain together a little hop with this thing. Now I will say it is, I don't really recommend doing this. It's really not that useful and the timing is very inconsistent, especially depending on your ping. But it's something to know. The more useful thing you're going to want to know about is ion climbing. That's the big one. So, ion climbing is super easy. It's really not that hard. All you do is you just need to find a flat surface with no geometry coming off of it. So, you just need to find something like... Um, we'll go up here, though. This is pretty good. You need to find a flat surface kind of like this. So you just need to make sure there's nothing sticking out of it. All you do is you jump and just shoot at it. And see how it kind of just shot me to the sky there? That's all you do. Now, again, it's not really that useful because a lot of people don't run the ion pistol. I only run it just for this exact reason, but I don't really use it that much. You're A lot of the time, you're better off just melee climbing. However, it's useful for some scenarios. So again, all you do is you just aim down to the floor and just shoot, and it just shoots yourself into the sky. Um, I was going to say, probably a lot of you have seen that clip that was on the Aimblox Twitter a little while ago, the Aimblox trick shots, where you can use this on um, Nightlife to aim against the skyscrapers and just shoot yourself up into the sky and then you can just do like a 360 and snipe people that's what i used to do all the time it's quite fun um it is good the only thing is that once you shoot yourself into the air you are kind of just stuck and you have to kind of figure out something to do from there so it's more of just like an escape option or something to get to height again melee hopping or climbing is just more consistent in pretty much every shape or form but it's still good to know because you never know when you're going to need it um but again it's just a little cool niche little thing about this gun Alrighty, so i brought you all here to airship to show you the last kind of movement tech i wanted to cover today this one i, I kind of coined geo dashing because i didn't really have a better name for it so geo dashing is pretty straightforward however it can be a little weird and it doesn't always work super consistently depending on the surface um uh, because as geo means for geometry jumping you can kind of kind of tell where this is going so the the big part here is you need you need to know how to air dash on proper timing that is the biggest part the reason i brought it to air, you guys to airship is because airship is the easiest map to do this on so what you're looking for is you're looking for any kind of structure that has this kind of horizontal slant on it like this what you want to do is you want to run at it and then air dash into it and see how you just kind of shoot yourself up into the sky like that. That is the kind of the, the geo dash, if that makes sense. I cannot tell you how many times I've used this. I remember when I first started playing, this is this is my favorite map because of this exact reason. Because you can just do cool trick shots and all that kind of stuff on this map. That's why I like this one so much. Um, so you can do it on this one. You can also do it on this here. Now, angles that aren't as sharp aren't going to be nearly as consistent. So like I can try and do this one a couple times and I'm only going to get a much lower kind of jump it's see for this one to kind of hit it right you kind of have to hit it here whereas this one you can just kind of hit it wherever and no matter where you go you're going to jump up now again as i mentioned before it's not a hundred percent 100 percent consistent like if i do it here it's not going to shoot me up this at all it's going to my movement's going to run out before i get up here sure it's useful for getting up stuff like i know on the railings here you can do it on these railings to get up a little faster like you can kind of slide up the railings but that's like it, it's such a niche thing like you might as well slide up the stairs if that makes sense um, but again, any kind of thing like this, you can do it on, and it's kind of a cool tech. I know there's a couple other maps that have a weird things. I know on uh, Mirage, that ice, the, the ice map, the crystals you can do that on. I know the crystals on Eden you can do it on as well in some areas. Um, but a lot of the maps have these individual areas where you can kind of do it on. Alrighty, there you have it. That is the definitive aimblocks movement guide for now. Now, I know it's just kind of a compilation of a bunch of different things. Basically, you can chain everything I showed you together 
in your own playstyle. So again, my playstyle is very movement dependent. I am very, I'm, I'm half the game, I'm looking at the floor and mailing myself up on structures and then looking around for people to kill on the way down. It depends on your playstyle. I know a lot of people just use melee just to get height on people, but again, there's a lot more you can do with this. That's why I wanted to make this guide and kind of show you the potential that there is. Um, I know, I remember I go back and I watch my clips when I first started playing game blocks before me melee was in the game and then I watch now and I'm like, wow, it's like, it, it, it's night and day difference. Once you master movement in this game, it's a completely different ball game and it will just help you so much especially against better players because the paragons know all this movement tech that's why they're so good a lot of the time so knowing how to do this and knowing what to look for can be a big help like especially against play, playing against much higher level players um but again thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you enjoyed the content please leave a like on the video and sub to the channel i'll be doing a lot more stuff like this in the future uh if they do change anything with the movement mechanics i'll update the video and i'll be sure to let you guys know but if you want to see me cover each individual map and go over all the weird jump spots all the cool rollouts all the cool spots you can get to with movement tech or anything you can look at any all the map specific stuff let me know i've been compiling a list of all the cool stuff i know you saw the stuff on airship but there's a lot more on airship that you can do um so if that's something you guys are interested in be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know but again thank you so much for watching i again i super appreciate it i uh, hope thank you again for all the support of the channel i think we're at four ish hundred subs now so i was supposed to have this done when i was at 300 but hey we're popping off so i'll take it uh but thank you again for all the support i cannot thank you guys enough um, and I will uh, catch you guys in the next video. Take care.